This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a percentage change question. They say, what is the effect, which is ambiguous, but when you look at the answer choices, what you see is it always deals with percentage change. When you're dealing with percentage change, you want to keep track of before and after. And if you do that, it'll prevent many costly errors. So also what I'm going to do here is since we're dealing entirely in percents, I'm going to pick numbers. So let's deal with a, we're dealing with a rectangle that has length 10 and width 10 for example. So we've got an area of 100. Now let's see what happens when we increase the length by 40 percent. So let's go from 10 to 14 and we're going to decrease the width by 40 percent. So we're going to go from 10 to 6. Right, so 40% of, this is the math that I'm doing in my head, 40% of 10 equals 4. And I'm adding 4 and subtracting 4 to get the 14 and the 6. Now 14 times 6 is 60, 84. So we went from 100 to 84. And what has happened? Well, we subtracted 16. We've had a decrease of 16. And I can already tell that the answer is going to be, going to be E. I started with 100 on purpose so that it would be easy to see. But you could always, of course, do 16 is what percent of 100? And replace the of with multiplication and you could solve for 16. And you'll still get the answer is E.